I think I found the perfect spot. What do you guys think about right here? everyone welcome back to a brand new video and a new episode of let's catch a train i have a special edition for you today a special episode coming to you from the suburbs of pittsburgh on broadway avenue now we're not catching a train today well we kind of are we're gonna be filming the pittsburgh light rail transit system known as the t i've done a couple videos on it written it numerous times but the reason i came to this particular area is because it actually runs on the street as a streetcar as I've explained in the past, the T system runs on old sections of Pittsburgh Railways, which was their streetcar trolley system dating back to the early 1900s. So we're going to kind of take a step back in time and watch some of the streetcars making its way down Broadway here, coming down the street with the traffic, going around the turns, and getting some footage of it going in both different directions. So come along with me for a new episode of Let's Catch a Train. Alright, pick my location here, right in the intersection of Broadway and a little fork in the road. And we're going to wait for some trains. Actually, first one's coming right now. There it is, riding right down the middle of the road. great thing about coming here to film these street cars instead of the regular trains that I film is they come pretty frequently. I've only been here less than 10 minutes, already caught two of them, still waiting for one to come in my direction for a close-up shot. Once we do that, I'm going to make my way up to the street behind me, a little bit further up, get some different action shots, but without a doubt we're going to catch numerous T trains coming by. This is the red line that goes all the way to South Hills Village, I believe. That's the furthest line further stop on the red line and primarily the main line that runs on the roads the most compared to the blue and silver. So right there I was sitting, got a few of them, 
compared to the next stop, which is Hampshire, which takes you into downtown Pittsburgh. And this one is a very colorful stop. The side of it is brick lined and it's a rainbow of colors. Which looks really nice. And oh, here comes our next one. So as I mentioned, a lot of activity here. They come and go both directions on a pretty set schedule. You don't have to wait really any more than 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go further up the street, get some shots of them coming up and down the straightaway here. But I do love the, I do love the colored brick side here. Brings a little bit of uh, almost like happiness to the area, but it's a nice, section neighborhood from what I could tell it has some it has an IGA when's the last time you see one of those it has a lot of mom and pop shops some places are out of business but it's uh only minutes away from downtown so it's just one of the many surrounding neighborhoods and suburbs I walked a bit further up I'm now near Broadway and Rutherford Avenue even though there's no street there it does say Rutherford in case you want to look it up on Google Maps you can see my approximate location but this is kind of the main thoroughfare through here Broadway homes are lining the streets here uh, less businesses here more homes and that's going towards Dormont if that's how it's pronounced but the tracks are right here in the middle of the road I'm gonna see if I can get something coming or going, and then we're gonna head back down that way around the curb on the hill and try to catch a few more. I think I found the perfect spot. What do you guys think about right here? I'll place you guys down on the ground, kind of right here, close to the road. And I'll use my other camera to get some zoomed in shots of coming and going down the hill around the curve. And in case you're curious, this is the intersection of Broadway and Coast Avenue. Here's a look where the road ends and the tracks continue on heading towards downtown. All right guys, I'm back at the station here waiting for my train to go back into downtown. But that was a look at the Pittsburgh T red line running on the streets here in the suburbs of Pittsburgh. I think from what I could tell, I got a lot of great shots both low to the ground, zoomed in, pulled out, around the curves, up the hills. I got a little bit of everything. It seems like a pretty nice area. I mean, I wouldn't mind coming back doing some more exploring of the inner neighborhoods just outside of Pittsburgh. And seeing the IGA 
was definitely a blast in the past. But feel free to comment down below. Tell me what you enjoyed, if anything. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Also, if you want to see more of my Pittsburgh Tea videos I've done, which is two of them so far, this is the third. You'll find those down below in the description. Lastly, I just want to say thanks for watching this special episode of Let's Catch a Train Streetcar Edition. Until next time, guys, I'll see all of you in the next video.